my family's campfire and welcome back to Coda Next Tales. As you can already tell today we're doing an outer vault and it's to do with a certain thing here as you can see. But hopefully after all can get rid of that and I can explain it to you the best I can. Pretty much this is another outer vault. Welcome back to the Isles of Sipta. Coda Next Tales. And we're doing a dungeon today. This dungeon is located in the actual storm radius so you will need to be careful of storm creatures when going close to this dungeon. Because it can be very dangerous, but we're doing the asylum, sorry, asylum of outsiders today. For some reason, I read the out before the asylum, and it became outsylum. <laughs> but pretty much, we're going in here today. Bring some good equipment to go in with, preferably a fraud to help you as well, or creature companion, whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, and some good healing, and then you can go into this uh, brand new dungeon. Of course, bringing a light is also not a bad idea either, so you can help yourself. Now, there's one thing you need to be really careful with with spider dungeons, and that is the webbing on the floor that you can find in some of the spider dungeons. It actually slows you down, and it can be pretty dangerous because of that, because you might be fighting, and it means your dodges will be a lot more delayed. Just to give you an example of the spider webbing, here we go. You can see I'm trying to go through it, and it's like going through sludge. Now there's spiders to the side over there, I don't see any spiders here today, luckily, so we can, you can go in those two rooms if you want some extra loot, but I'm going to continue on to the next room, where we've got a couple of more spiders. It's a very quiet and eerie place, this place, but we're going to try and attract this one out without attracting any other ones. So the idea is we attract one at a time, so we don't have to deal with several at a time. We've got this one to deal with. The hitbox can be a little bit janky. Of course, you can't go for the legs. You have to go for the body. So, you grab that one. Then, take any of the outer room it drops. So, they're green gems you see in there. Very good stuff. And then, you come into this room where you've got two options. Well, this option's actually blocked off. So, you want to go to the left instead of the right. So, we're going to go through this way and head on in. Now, on here, we're going to take a right. Now, you might see these little uh, levers here. Now the only things these do is actually open up doors to get loot boxes. So you can see there's a loot box behind in here, but there's actually nothing there. So if you see any of these levers in this dungeon, it doesn't actually mean there's anything really good there. It just means loot, and you actually probably do want to do it to get the loot. But I'm going to lead you to the boss chambers. So we're going to try and get through all this webbing. There is no way really around dodging the webbing, because you will most likely have to go for it. As I can see in this corridor, there's absolutely no way around it. So in here we have two spiders I can see already. See if I can creep around them without disturbing them. I believe I can. There's a chest there. We're going to try and go for the door on the other side. But I believe we're probably going to disturb this one. So I'll try and get this one's attention without the other one. I think my frog's going to go for it though and disturb our kind of uh, peace here. Yeah, they have. So we got two. So, But anyway, if you can get your frog to stand by, then definitely do. And then you can only deal with one and then you can be on your merry way down the hallway so if you just wanted to fight them just go straight ahead and not creep around but if you want to creep around creep around you know kind of thing then you're in here another spider web you can see there's some more loot on the right but we're going to take the left hand side because this is the way to go we actually have some hidden spiders around the corner here there's some sneaky hidden ones you can deal with they're actually incredibly easy to stagger unfortunately and these boxes if you see them you can open them with a special key like a skeleton key to get their goodies. Now we have a couple more spiders in here. I'm going to try and track one at a time. Try and get this guy first. Unfortunately, it seems it has attracted both. So I'm just going to try and deal with both. But ideally, again, you want to try and track one at a time. Or two's okay, but three is a little bit overbearing. Especially if you go in here at a lower level. Anyway, got rid of them. Another chest. We're going to take this corner here. Go through all this very slow cobwebbing. Sorry about this cobwebbing. We have the biggest spider in here. A statue. The two guys we might be able to dodge the bigger one actually and just go for the smaller one here which would be nice but no we hit this one and the other one wants us now let me show you an example of these damages actually because i haven't showed you how much they hurt really on this one as a normal spider now my da my like armor is like 907 so you can see it hitting me wouldn't actually be too bad of a thing if i had a bit lower armor on and you can see it attacks incredibly slow as well there we go. So you came in from this way, you're going to see the statue this way. Go to the butt of the statue and go towards this button, click it in if it needs clicking in, and continue through to this room. The boss you're going to be greeted in here with is a big red kind of pussy looking thing. 
Free skull boss. I'll give you an example of the damage. Try and go in the areas that are not webbed. So try and lure the spider out of the webbing. So we'll take a hit from him. Not too bad. Very slow attacks again, just like before. It's going to kind of fight like the ones you saw previously. So that is what you're going to get. It's also going to do this kind of attack, which you really need to watch out for because it's going to be pretty nasty when it happens. You want to heal, especially if you come in here lower. There should be another couple of spiders in here as well when it gets to the final version of the game. As you also need to be careful of. Let me try and see if my fool can not kill this guy and see if he can do another one of these crazy uh, beam attacks on me. So here he goes again. You see this kind of attack? Boom. Big beam. Big flash bang. You can't see anything. Well, you can, but you can't see anything. Terrible poison in your eyeballs. Careful of that. Pretty nasty. Anyway, let's get rid of this guy. You can see he's uh, pretty resistant to damage, actually. So that can be pretty challenging, but once you kill him, take the green gems out of him. And then you can farm him for good stuff like a missile flash or whatever takes your fancy really here. Definitely keep the green gems on you though. I've checked them out for the meantime because I'm just demonstrating what this dungeon is. But definitely don't check them out. Click on this button if you need to and then head into the loot room where you got a loot chest. A couple of the more loot chests. This one's most important. Now this one should open up with a sigil kind of like this. And you want to eat that because it's going to help you against the storm and take care of all the rest of the loot out. And then you've got these couple of loot boxes here you can also take. Once you're done with this, you get out this main door here and you leave the dungeon. Unless you want a bit of the lore, which is through this orb here to get a bit of story time. And there we go, this out of vault is completely finished. Anyway, thank you for watching, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!